Hi everyone, my name is Eddie Bose. I'm a kinetic artist specializing in rolling ball sculptures. And one thing I wanted to start doing is doing YouTube vlogs so I can take you with me on some of my installations and show you some of the behind the scenes aspects of my sculptures. So this is going to be my first one and hopefully a bunch to come. So uh, what I want to do is just share with you one of the really neat sculptures I've done. I'm here in Munich, Germany at the BMW Welt, which is a BMW World. And this is called the BMW Welt Kugelbahn. And this sculpture is really unique because it's shaped like a sphere and it's inside a huge acrylic sphere. The acrylic sphere has only two ways to get inside. I have a portal here and one up top behind me. Now, uh, one thing you'll notice is I can only reach the components of the sculpture as far as my arm can go and sometimes as far as I can lean inside. So how do I get to the other side of the sculpture? Well, the way I solve this is by building the whole thing on a huge single ball bearing. That way I can rotate the thing and get to the other side. Now, before I rotate it, I need to pull up these dark panes right here. Now, these are acrylic panes that I've inserted to collect the balls that might fall off the track. There's aspects of the sculpture where the balls are flying through the air, and if they are to not land correctly and fall off the track, they'll just roll back inside the sphere, back into the system. So let me pull up two of these panes. I'll pull this one here, and one more. And then I can rotate the sculpture. Just like that, smooth as silk. The other thing you'll notice is there's a big opening down here below everything. Now, below the sculpture is where I installed the motor and a lot of the gear train, uh, the drive train that moves the power to all the other components of the sculpture. So below there you have a big motor, you have bevel gears, miter gears, a slip clutch, and you also have a whole bunch of wire. There's well over 100 meters of wire that goes from video screens and solenoids through the inside sculpture, uh, through the uh, vertical members here, underneath everything to one of the command areas. Um, in the command area, that's where you have video repeaters, uh, PIC processors, other kinds of uh, computer processors that actually run the whole sculpture. So uh, those are some of the neat aspects of the sculpture, and check back with me later. And I'll have some more videos of some of the things I do. It's a fun journey, so I hope you join me. So uh, we'll see you then.